Hi everyone, it's Kayang here. Today I thought I would make a quick video on how I organize my notes on Notion. If you know me in person, you probably know how much I love Notion and how I use it for pretty much everything in my life from collecting recipes to writing notes in class to brainstorming YouTube videos and everything. And if you haven't already seen my first video on how I organize my life on Notion, please make sure to check that out. I'll link that in the card above. All right, without further ado, let's get started. This is my Notion page for keeping all of my lecture notes. And you can see that it's divided into labs and lectures. So under labs heading, I have gross anatomy, neuroanatomy, radiology, and histology. And under lectures, I made this table where I organize lectures based on weeks. And there are columns for different things, and I will go through them more in depth later. So let's just have a look at um, my gross anatomy page first. So here I made this little table where I have the name of the labs, date, whether I made Anki cards and notes. So if I just click on one of them, um, I have learning objectives and screenshots of videos that I had to pre-watch. And um, there's really no set structure that I use for taking notes for anatomy, just whatever I think might be important. And these are sort of my rough notes. And later when I make Anki cards or active recall questions, I would refer to these notes and include any points that I want to revisit. And when I was studying for my gross anatomy lab exam, I um, went over my Anki cards and I also made some physiology related questions. So um, these are divided into main headings like lab one, cranial and uh, cavity. And these are just very simple, succinct questions like, Dura consists of periosteal layer, meningeal layer, what is in the epidural space, what is in the subarachnoid space. These are just some quick points that I wanted to memorize. And here, what's really cool about Notion is that you can paste images from websites, anything that you screenshot. And I also try to include my own um, hand-drawn diagram because it's more intuitive to me and it helps me remember. So basically, I just made this diagram on GoodNotes app um, and yeah, just copied and pasted into this. And I think I did that for a few of these questions. I also have images from the lab handout as well. But um, that is, I think that's good for gross anatomy. And these other pages are also organized in a similar fashion. So I don't think I need to show you guys these, but if we look at the lecture content, let me just introduce this table to you guys. So I have um, columns for different things. The first column is week title. In our program, we have a theme for each week and um, these belong in certain systems. So the first uh, five weeks were uh, pertaining to nervous system and the next two were blood and lymphatic system and so on and for this I used multi-select or I guess you can also do select um, as well so that if you create a new row and if say week uh, 50 belonged to respiratory system then you can just click on this blank space and choose one of these, or you can create a new system, say for example, GI system. So it's very easy like that. And week lead email, which I haven't really used at all, but just for the information. And um, I have a column for exam review. So here I use the checkbox function to keep track of which weeks I have reviewed for the exam. And you can make multiple columns, um, say like revision one, two, and three, if you want to incorporate a space repetition aspect into the table as well. So I will show you one of these weeks. Let's pick hypothalamic pituitary and and organ access. Here I have some basic information about this week. So these are the columns in the table that we saw earlier. Um, and underneath, I have the lectures organized in tables. Again, I really like using the table function on Notion. So the first column is name, and then the next column review question, question mark. So I use the checklist or checkbox function again. 
to keep track of which lectures I've made review questions for, start date, what date was the lecture, understanding. I didn't really utilize this column very much, but um, I have these options like good, very good, so, so bad, poor, very poor. Um, so that when I go on this page, I can see which lectures I still need to work on. Maybe I need to look up some more information, watch some videos. And then I have another column where um, it's my first repetition of revisions. And you can also um, enter formula so that it automatically gives you when you should review next, but I didn't really use this this term. Maybe I'll try to find a way to make it work for me next year. And this, I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna a review do. I think I'm gonna hide it because it's not very useful. And then action items. So again, if you click on one of these lectures, let's do endocrine physiology. So um, there's a row for action items so after you're done reviewing this lecture you still find that you need to look up more resources then you can just click this and write watch an osmosis video on this or something like that and then when you go back to the main table it actually shows what you just typed uh, so it's a really good way to keep track of your learning progress what I do is I just import lecture slides and whatever that's not written on the slide or any key concepts that are mentioned verbally, I just um, type these things in bullet points. So at the very top of the notes, I don't know if you guys know about this function, but this is such a useful tip and a time saver. So basically you create a line and you press slash and type um, table of contents. So what this does is, I mean, I already have a table of contents in the top, but when you use these um, section headings, so this is heading two, and I have some subheadings, like for this one, it's heading one, and then this is heading two. So the table of contents formula automatically generates the hierarchy of keywords so that uh, if you just want to look up what testosterone biosynthesis is about, you can just click on it and it jumps to that point in your notes. So instead of having to scroll through your notes and find that specific section, you can kind of see where that fits in this general structure of the lecture and um, you can click on it because it's hyperlinked just so convenient i really hope you guys make use of it so i think that's good um let me just show you guys how i actually make this table so i'm just going to open a new page and type um, table in line and then you can name this um, HBO Access. The default is you have the name as your first column and tags. You can change this however you want. I'm just gonna keep the name here and change this to date. Date, and now when you click on this, you can actually click the date. If we want to make a checkbox, say review, mark you click checkbox and now this column is turned into a checkbox and if you want to make the column to um, keep track of your understanding of lecture content understanding let's say so um, yeah select good create good um, bad so so now when you click on the um, blank box you can either choose uh, one of these three or create a new option like very good action items. And I'm, I'm just going to keep the column as the text property so that you can just type in whatever you want. So read the textbook. Yeah, so just like this, it's very simple. You just have to populate this table and tweak this revise it, edit it, however you guys want. Let's go back to the main page. 
yeah i could show you guys this too so underneath this table i made this review checklist so this is more for the revision of lecture materials and here i have columns for review um cbl case-based learning readings if there were any required or optional readings and then underneath i have my overall exam review table slash board um, the first part is didactic lecture and then anatomy neuroanatomy histology radiology as well as foundation of scholarship yeah and um, let me show you guys how i make this um, exam review so slash board inline um, exam review and this first column it's i don't really use this so, but for these you can actually change the name to lecture anatomy neuroanatomy and then say week three was pregnancy anatomy anatomy and now how do you make those check boxes so you click on one of these and add a property review number one and change that to checkbox review number two box and if you want to do what i did i feel good and then checkbox and when you go back they're not there so what do you do you go all the way to right hand side of the board and click on these three dots and open properties and you just have to turn these on and you can add like week four was gi or uh, week five and so on so i think that is all i wanted to show for this video i really hope this was helpful for you guys um, I'm still learning all the tips and tricks on Notion, so as I learn more and as I play around with them, I will try to share those tips with you guys so you can benefit from them as well. So I'm going to end this video here, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And if you want to see more videos like this, please give a thumbs up. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!